Well, everybody, uh, welcome to the final day of the Royal West 2021 version featuring the Canadian Show Jumping Championships. Joined with me, as always, is the one, the only, Kim Curtin. <laughs> He's just buttering me up because he knows this is not my thing, but... A little sad that it's our last night, uh, but how exciting to have our $75,000 Truman Homes Canadian Championship Grand Prix. We will be crowning a champion tonight. Uh, I believe the top three people are all separated by less than one fault. And what a great day of jumping today, John. You know, I'm just going to get somebody to get us a... Uh, um, Some what? Uh, what, the, what am I <laughs> looking for? Out. No, no, the results so we can see what they are, the scores are after the uh, first two rounds, okay? Yeah. But I enjoyed myself today. What a huge amount of money offered to the meters, meter 10s, meter 20s, and meter 30s. Free saddles. I believe it was Voltaire. How many saddles did they give away today? We gave away three saddles today. I'll tell you a good story about that shortly. Let me just get the order to go here. We gave away three saddles. Uh, this is a new entity that uh, we've started here in the West, uh, Show Jumping Canada. And uh, we've teamed up with Voltaire, and there's all kinds of things that we're going to be doing in the future. But uh, at this tournament, we gave away three Voltaire saddles to junior amateur riders. Oh, and I believe they weren't won by points. They were picked by their... They were picked by their peers. It's an awesome idea, and the one little girl that won the saddle unfortunately broke her ankle in the warm-up ring on the first day, couldn't on compete. The mount, on the mounting block. And starting off with one of my favorites, Eric Martin and Simba. Well, Eric Martin's coming into the ring first today, and uh, he knows it, but he's got a bundle of faults. So uh, he's not really going to be in contention for the championship, but this is a $75,000 event. Uh, you can see the jump he's getting ready to canter by. It's a good friend of mine, George Trutina from uh, Truman Homes, and they've been a longtime supporter of the uh, of the Royal West, and we thank George. I don't think he could make it here tonight, but... Uh, he was responsible for getting some of the crowd out here, so uh, we're we're excited to, to to see a great event for him. Unfortunately, a coming down, but see, he retired on the first day in the first phase, so his faults added. He ended up with uh, fifty. He's coming into today's round with fifty-eight faults. But this is a young horse of his, and he. Uh, you know, he's bringing it along, and uh, Eric's such a good rider that he'll make a good horse out of this. Well, indoors also, it's a different game. Well, he's going to run over the photographer. Eric's a wonderful competitor and one more time, we'll give a shout out to Jan, and Eric will wrap up with 23 faults. Folks, we got the other computer here with us today, so if you uh, tune in on live stream, uh, we can see the questions. Feel free to ask us anything you like, and uh, we'll do our best to answer them.
Serena asked if uh, they could make music requests. And unfortunately, we're not a radio show. We're a live stream uh, show jumping event. So we're not taking music requests tonight. I think we could be a radio show. Well, young Stella just won uh, the last event, the $25,000 meter 30 phase three of the Canadian championships for that division. And you asked the other night, uh, John, what you figure these hats they've got on the horses, what they're for. And I asked the foreign judge today and he claims they're for the riders. <laughs> well, Kim, Kim, I, so, you know, it's as good as any to me. Just so everybody knows out there, great minds think alike. <laughs> so Kim went and found out a version, and I went and found out a version. But again, what Kim thinks and what I think don't equal the <laughs> same thing. <laughs> well, you know, they say, why do people over blanket their horses? And it's be they say it's because the people are cold. Unfortunately, a coming down. No, they say this is the new thing, and uh, these 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 uh, these hoodies are full of magnets, and they're supposed oh, to they keep are, the horse are relaxed. They? Okay. Stella Stella was also a uh, um, bronze medalist in the U25 division that we had last week. Uh, really, really uh, talented young rider coming up. Just sitting on the four faults, I think she'll be thrilled with that. Oh, and that was a super round. Well, our announcer, Dick, says they will not make the jump off. And folks out there, that's not necessarily true. Because no. if anybody, if there was no cleans and a bunch of people had four faults, folks, we would have a jump off. So we might have to reprimand our well, announcer. Well, you know, we have enough jobs. I don't think we can become announcer as well. We'll just leave it to Dick. We'll leave it to Dick. Dayton's happy that he's here tonight. Uh, he says that way he doesn't have to listen to us. I'm happy he's here too because he can't bug us. <laughs> exactly. Now Rachel uh, has a farm, Eventire Farms, just south of town here. And uh, she... She's uh, trotting the first fence. That's okay. Yeah, I've seen Jan Condell do it I've many times. I've seen Jan jump without reins. Anyway, Rachel and uh, Jim Ifco operate uh, Eventire Farms, and uh, they've got some such great horses. And, uh, you know, both of them are such great horse people as well. That was nice. You were awarded with a gold medal yourself today, John. I have to say, for as much as we argue, I can't think of anybody that deserves a gold medal more than you and presented to you by the EC, Karen and Meg. Well, it's so nice to have our friends from Equestrian Canada out here in Calgary, visiting Cowtown. Uh, you know, our CEO, you guys probably saw a little interview we did uh, uh, early before the show, and uh, it really was Meg that uh, helped make this happen for everybody, and a uh, special shout-out and thanks go to uh, Equestrian Canada. Rachel's having a super round. Looks a little slow to me, but... I'm not sure what the time allowed is, but she's certainly jumping well. The time allowed is 78. Oh, heck, she's... Go on. And she makes it. Now what a great we'll round. There's our first clear round. She's always got such wonderful horses. Now, Rachel didn't have the best time on the first night, so she uh, finishes the third 
round with uh, 17.26 faults. And just so everybody knows and understands this, as uh, riders keep coming, the faults uh, they come in uh, uh, come in with get lower and lower and lower. So Rachel's the leader. If uh, Swanky goes clear, she'll become the new leader for the championship, not for the class. And Samara's been busy. I watched her all day in the other jumper divisions. Imagine 10,000 for the meter championships today, 15,000 for the meter 10, 20,000 for the meter 20s, and 25,000 for the 30, meter 30. Yeah, that was just phase three of each one of those championships. There's oh, been a ton of money this down. week. My father was alive. We surely would have been here. I think we would have driven out for 5,000. This is a wonderful combination. Samara is a great supporter of all the events that we host out at uh, Rocky Mountain Show Jumping, and she always brings a bunch of students and uh, really, really good coach as well. Ah. Uh, last jump coming down. And one more time, Werner has done such an amazing job all day. No one ever runs into problems. Uh, a rail here and there, but never makes it unjumpable for the kids. You know, Katie walks into the ring like that, all cash, all casual. Horse is going to have a poop, but I uh, hope she's going to give it a pat, wait a little bit. And then when she gets to work, she means business. She's a strong competitor. I think she won. She won one of the championships today. Kim, we've had uh, we've got 325 people joined in already to watch us. Well, I'm excited. I just hope they give us a positive feedback because. I'm certainly not a professional, and neither are you. Somebody just tuned in and said, uh, did Shauna Cook and Tammy Phillips scratch? I know the answer to that question. It is yes. They did. Can't you see the scratch now on the sheet in front of you? Scratch? No, I can't. <laughs> For everybody out there... Uh, on the web, watching and tuning in tonight. Katie Laurie is originally from New Zealand. I think she rode for Australia in the Olympics here in Tokyo. Yeah, I don't actually think she made it into the ring, but well, she would have had a good still time. Still gets the title of Olympian. Anyway, she's uh, just living south of town in Okotoks with her family. Has a nice farm out there. And I do believe Katie's top, top horse, uh, beautiful white stallion, was sold to eye candy. And I'm not sure he's competed yet in there. That's how you do it. What was just the under the time what allowed, was the time 78. Allowed? Oh, yeah, so she's just under the time allowed. Guaranteed jump off. Yeah, Laura Jane joins us from uh, Langley, B.C. Her family operates, owns and operates uh, Thunderbird Show Park, uh, one of B.C.'s premier show jumping facilities. Thunderbird is known for running 
great, great events all year long. Lots of uh, World Cup competitions, lots of FEI competitions, and I uh, believe a lot of regional competitions as well. It's a beautiful place. Well, it's a wonderful place to judge. John smacking me. <laughs> John, you know that this is my favorite. LJ's always been a favorite competitor of mine because she's got so much fight in her. She'll be expecting good things out of this horse tonight. Well, she's been here, I believe she was uh, second or third, third, I think, in one of the big World Cups we had a few years ago here. Certainly jumping well tonight. Yeah, she's looking good. It would be wrong if we didn't give a shout out to Brent, Laura, and Jane. I'm sure you're on the sofa watching this class. Oh, he looks good. Speaking of someone, forward. speaking of someone else watching, I haven't heard anything from uh, Brent and Laura yet. I'm sure they're watching. Oh, they're down in Palm Springs right oh, now. Oh, they are, are they? They'll be cheering her on. Oh, we got another 30 viewers. I bet you that's Brent. <laughs> come on, LJ. Come on. Oh, that was good. He's once again. You got to do what you got to do. Get him up there. All right. Little rub on the low. 77.92. Eight one hundredths of a second under the time allowed. Well, he was a little sticky to that second last jump, and Laura Jane dug in. We had a lovely competitor here, Naya LeClaire, who just stopped by and gave us a nice gift card, said, thank you for the hospitality. It's so good to have competitors who are thankful for the well, jobs that we do. and you deserve it. In my own mind, anyway. <laughs> yes. We've talked about Ashley before. Uh, this is a younger horse of hers, and she's uh, very excited about it. She's made the trip from British Columbia, as have many this uh, for this particular event this year, and we're really thankful to our province to the West. Oh, so fun today with Dick announcing the provinces that the riders were representing. I didn't have a whole lot of people from Ontario to cheer on, but there was one. There was one, and she actually got a good ribbon. Yeah, in the, it was in the meter 30s, I believe. Yeah, Sophie Beijing, I believe. I started cheering for Manitoba as well, because that's my father's province. But uh, BC, they've been dominating in Alberta. Kim, Clay just sent us a note saying, we love both of you broadcasting this evening. Thank Who? you. Someone named Clay. Clay. Well, thank you, Clay. I don't know if we'll get asked anywhere else. Or <laughs> and she's going to bring this home clear. Oh, All that'll right. make Ashley extremely That's happy. super round. Well, you can tell by the pats on the neck that she is happy. One of Ashley's students' uh, horses could not compete in the CT and Spruce Meadows lent them one of their superstars and I believe ended up second place never ridden a horse before Cortofino was the horse what a wonderful horse and rider not knowing each other to pull off a second place and here's Carissa Enders. I thought her sister, oh, and you know what Werner says? 
one, jump one is part of the course. I'm sure George is tuned in tonight. George Tutina from Truman Homes, founder of Truman Homes. Live better, live Truman. Well, there's the second rail, but you know, the, these riders are young and what a nice opportunity for them to get experience in a $75,000 championship. You know, folks, for over 35 years, Truman has been building properties of exceptional quality and distinct distinguished craftsmanship in Calgary and the surrounding areas with the core belief that everybody can live better. And of course, is going to come home with hopefully the 12, yeah, 12 and well under the time allowed. And she should be happy with that ride. Well, these Enders, uh, these Enders girls are just fantastic, talented riders. And, uh, you know, they really can ride anything. Well, they're certainly fighters. I think her sister, Hope, had a beautiful round today earlier and also had the first fence down. Well, our good, our, our good German course designer the other day when we said, you know, a lot of people having the first fence down, and he said, well, it's part of the course. Well, another famous line today, one of the competitors for the meters complained that one of the oxers were too wide. And Werner said, it's not too wide in Germany. I haven't seen any comments from Kian. Oh, you see Brent's watching. Okay. Yeah, Brent's tuned in. Well, tell him to tune in and ask us a question on live stream. I'm not sure we'll be able to answer, but ask us a question. You know, it's been a real pleasure working with you, Kim. Are you being sarcastic? Not at all. And I have a beautiful <laughs> gift for you. We have a uh, Julie Winkle's new oh. book. I know. I'm s Julie Winkle and Trisha Booker. Now, the only way I'm allowed to have that book, though, is if I'm nice to John for the whole day, which I think I had started with five points, and I'm down to two. So I think I have another hour to go before I get that book, and I'm so excited to read the book. Well, you, you reached out and called someone down in California looking after a show and said, I need to get a book. And I said, I'll get it for you. Yeah, so now I have two. And I'll be taking one to my symposium for Jump Alberta. I think it will be very knowledgeable. Braden is having a great round here. Braden's going to be really happy with this. He's not he comes and support, He comes and supports a bunch of our tournaments in the summer, and uh, we're thankful to have him. And he's the coach of uh, He needs to keep Chernos. moving because he's getting close to the time allowed. Come on, you better get going. Uh, oh, no. no. Well, nonetheless. Oh. Nonetheless. Oh, he's going to get bucked off. He'll be thrilled with that. The horse jumped beautiful. Well, Kennedy lost her stirrup there in the first fence. I think she's got it back, though. Yes, yeah, she does. 
Well, it's no stir up November. A lot of controversy, of course. People have an opinion about everything. They're now saying that riding without stirrups we just got is a, uh, hard on a horse's back and mouth. We just got a comment, Kim, from uh, Alaria and says, Julie's judging WTF book is amazing. Well, I hope I can behave and get my book. You just, you have two more strikes against <laughs> you, so you have to I be nice to me tonight. It's only another hour of working at Royal West. I Kennedy's think having a really, really nice round here. She's going to be quite happy with this if she can bring it home. She's, her time is good. Keep moving. You cannot stand still. Oh, awesome. Just under the time allowed. That's Super. good. Super. That'll give us five horses for the jump off now. Sean just commented on the book name, uh, Judging WTF. It's not what you think it is, folks. It's what the fact. And what the, the facts. facts? My knees straightened me out on that today, because you know what I was thinking. Settle down, Kimmy. This is a family show. This is a wonderful duo. Yes, Hallie won the. Uh, Canadian National Championship in the U25 division last week, and uh, she's just a fantastic young rider. Big future ahead of her. I think her night to go clean will be tonight. You know, this horse rider combination just started together um, earlier this summer, so uh, they haven't had a whole lot of time. Even though they're looking really, really good, they haven't had a whole lot of time to work together. So, uh, Well, and you have to think that their adrenaline was winning the under-25. This, the, this horse and rider have been in a lot of classes this week. But don't you like that fight oh. that she has? Oh, no. Oh, she's hurt her back leg. Just stung herself. Hey, just stung herself. You'll there be fine. There you go. Yeah, probably time to leave. There's her dad, Jay. And Alana's fine. She's just stung herself. Her dad's leaving, so I think she'll be leaving next. Yeah, she's voluntary withdrawing. That's a smart move. You know, she had a great week. I mean, I'm sure she would have liked to finish the better, finish a little better, but that's the sport, you know. Happy to see the little green man joining us again. Special shout out to our friends at uh, Clean Go Innovations. Uh, and that little man in the right hand corner is Clean Go Green Go. Uh, Clean Go Innovations, a supplier of some fantastic cleaning product and some wonderful, wonderful uh, um, sanitary things to deal with the COVID situation. Uh, good friends of mine, great public company, Clean Go Innovations, sponsors of the live stream. It lets us give it to you for free. Well, what a nice treat for everybody to have free live streaming, and not only that, live streaming that actually works.
Well, we're back, folks, after a little uh, station break uh, from our sponsors, Truman Homes. Wonderful supporters, as always, of Rocky Mountain Show Jumping and Royal West. They've been wonderful supporters of Royal West for years, have they not, John? Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Well, we had a question from our friend Jill Henselwood. Wanting to know where the top riders are carrying into the finals. And uh, That's your job, John. You have that list. I do have that list, and I'm looking at it right now. Jacqueline Duff is sitting on 6.07 faults. For everybody out there who knows, uh, Jacqueline has trained and for many years with Jill Henselwood. And I think she just bought this horse from Jill. I don't know if she has the chance to move up the uh, standings here in the championships. Uh, unless Anything's else. possible, John. That's true, that's true. Horse is certainly jumping fantastic tonight. She's two jumps away. Oh. That's too bad. But this partnership is brand new. Well, she'll be happy with that round. She will be. It's especially, it's a new horse. And uh, shout out to you, Jill. I hope you were watching. Uh, that's a nice horse. Yes, we miss you, Jill. And here comes Shauna Cook and Kaya. Uh, Shauna went into the ring uh, the first day with this horse and just uh, laid it down, first horse in the ring. She sits on a score of 5.84 faults here, sitting in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th place so far. Oops. Horse just snuck a peek at that, uh, uh, that jump here. That's too bad. Hung a leg. I, guess, I think the leg is the reason the rail came down. I, I think so. You're going to tell me I have the uncanny ability of stating the obvious, aren't you? <laughs> well, <laughs> I've studied Werner's courses, though. The first fence he's... He, all day long, all 10 days of show jumping, he has caught so many people with that first jump. I don't know what it, he always has, just something special for it, doesn't he? Well, Werner is special. Werner is special. Well, it's not Kaya's night, but Well, now we have Laurie Jameson and Who's the Cat, one of my favorite combinations. She'll give it all she's got to get it clear. Laurie's a very exciting rider to watch, and uh, I'm excited about this Da Cat. I mean, there's a few horses that we have. We have one called Meerkat. I think they're all bred the same way. Laurie's a local breeder here as well and has all kinds of fantastic horses, and uh, my wife Kelly convinced me to uh, 
convinced us to get one of these horses, and we're looking forward to see, to seeing it in the future. Kim, guess who just joined us? Who, John? The CEO of Equestrian Canada, oh, Ms. Meg Kruger, who's come all the way out from uh, the east, uh, to, and she was a great help for us, uh, uh, presenting the, the, the medals to all the champions and all the divisions here. Meg, it's great to have you. Thanks, guys. I'm happy to be here. So what do you think of the wild, wild west here, as we call it, uh, and the Royal West and the Canadian Championships? Well, so far, uh, I think the hospitality has been fantastic. Um, the competition has been fantastic. So I've got 10 stars for you guys. Um, it's been a really wonderful experience. Well, Meg, uh, thank you so much again for uh, uh, you and uh, the organization Equestrian Canada for uh, allowing these championships to happen here at the Royal West. And uh, we hope you've done you proud. I know all the exhibitors that have participated uh, um, uh, have enjoyed it thoroughly. And uh, we hope oh, to have you back. I'd be happy to come back anytime. Well, thanks, Meg. Kim, what's going on here? Well, he's drifting left and three rails and... All from the left drift, from what I can see. Yeah. Well, Laurie, Laurie will know that this is the first time this uh, horse has uh, um, um, stepped up to something this big, and it just entered the open division here this summer at our events. Well, here comes a favorite of mine, Jim Ifko, and his wonderful stallion. Well, Jim, uh, Jim's a fantastic uh, rider here, and as we said, uh, he, he, uh, he runs, uh, and uh, well, he's the head guy at Eventire Farms of uh, Rachel's. And uh, this horse has been just fantastic here uh, this week, and uh, every time it goes in the ring, for that matter. And his brother Joe had some wonderful students today and some great results. Well, Jim will know how to maneuver this course. There's well, a lot of money on the line, and he knows what to do. Well, Jim's sitting in fourth place right now oh. with 4.09 faults. Just cut down on that ox, sir. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Well, but you man. know what? He's had a wonderful, wonderful season all year with this horse, and... Uh, yeah, okay, you want to, You always want to win at the last one of the year, but uh, he's not going to be upset with that. And my friend Scott McKay informed me today that he has a mare in full to this horse. So good luck with that, Scott McKay. Sean Lewis asked us who are the top three riders. Sean Lewis just asked us who are the top three riders so far. Well, we've got about... Eight, we've got seven clear rounds, and uh, we haven't decided the top three, but uh, in the championship right now, it's Vanessa, Alicia, and Christopher Lowe. Well, here comes Chris Lowe and Cunningham 4. Ran into him in the parking lot last night leaving, and uh, he's having a wonderful time. He, his dad usually comes to help him, but he didn't make the trip. But Chris is really having a wonderful time. How could you not have a great time in Cowtown, as they call it? Well, we even had our uh, Equestrian Canada CEO all the way from Ottawa. 
and uh, she's thinking Cowtown is great. Dick's talking about uh, Eric Lamaze and folks out there um, um, on the web, uh, if you recall, 10 years ago, uh, this sport lost that fabulous, fabulous horse, Hickstead. And uh, our hearts go out to Eric. I know he's probably thinking about that day. And uh, we have a special tribute uh, for you guys online. So uh, in between the first round and the jump off, jump off, we hope you tune in because... What a special horse. Oh, the special horse, special rider. Thinking of you today, Eric, I know it still hurts. Come on, Chris. Chris is getting it done. How's this time? Not good. He needs to keep going. Keep going. Now... Oh, no. One time fault. Well, Cunningham's a big horse. It's hard to maneuver a big horse in the indoor ring. He jumps super. A medal. Well, he's guaranteed a bronze medal here because he came into the round uh, with 3.94 faults. Okay, so and, he, Chris is guaranteed a bronze yep, medal. And Jim had a rail, so, uh, so um, you know, he went down. So, yeah, Chris is guaranteed a bronze medal in the Canadian Championship. He won't be making the jump off, though, for no, the day money. No, But he'll be thrilled with that result. Alicia comes to us from uh, British Columbia, and I learned some more tonight. Uh, she is a uh, she does ride and get some help with uh, Tiffany Foster, but she's actually an accomplished professional herself and has a bunch of students and uh, does a great great job. Super rider. Well, this is the type of horse you need for indoors. Little spicy, easy to maneuver. Oh, yeah, this is looking good. Questions? I just got reprimanded. By who? Sean, online. Because I wasn't paying attention. He was looking for the top three. Oh, here we go. Super round. Well, here we go, folks. The stage has been set. Uh, Christopher Lowe will be bronze. Alicia is guaranteed a silver medal with 1.61 faults. Vanessa, she's coming in the ring. She's on a total score of zero. If she's clear, she is Canada's national show jumping champion. And I think she can do it. If she faults at all, the crown will go to Alicia. $25,000 in rider bonuses for the championships, gold, silver, bronze medals. Well, if anybody could jump a clear tonight, it should be Vanessa. Well, Vanessa's had a wonderful week so far, obviously. Uh, two clear rounds. Uh, her father's in the house, uh, Fred Mannix, who made sure I had a poppy, folks. And once again, the right type of horse for indoors. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, no. 
Just didn't get across that auxer. She's got to hold it to just four and uh, secure a bronze medal. He has a lovely pace. Because Chris had 4.94 faults over, so if she ends up on just four. Uh, oh, she will retain. She will get uh, a. She will end up with a silver medal, folks, in the Canadian Championships. Uh, well, nothing wrong with silver. There's a nice bonus, a uh, good bonus money for silver medal. You got to read all the stuff. Katie uh, Fredrickson must be a friend of uh, Alicia's because uh, she just, uh, I said, Katie Fredrickson must be a good friend of Alicia's because she just said, go, Alicia, amazing. Here's Braden with the second horse. Unlike normal championships, you are allowed to ride more than one mount. Well, it's nice that uh, Ann Reed came in to judge this evening. Unfortunately, that made me available for <laughs> live streaming, but. Kim, I have <laughs> two words to say to you. Settle down. <laughs> I'm going to be sad when the show's over, but I'm not going to miss live streaming. We have heard wonderful comments from all of our fans out there. We have, and we've actually enjoyed it. Oh, back rail coming down. Well, normally everything's in reverse order, but Braden was uh, on his first horse uh, in the championships because uh, he was riding two, but the first horse was his declared horse, so he had to ride that horse first. I have been working with Jerry Koo all week, and uh, I know the rules for the championships like no other because Jerry knows his stuff. Well, Jerry handed, us, handed me a special thank you, and it was a wonderful... Partega's Cuban cigar. He said that is not a cigar. That is a Cuban. Well, Braden will be happy with that. That was a wonderful ride. And here comes our last horse. Pete, now his good friend Frank Huff has been here for 10 days to help Pete. And uh, I've hardly seen him because I've been working day and night. Once again, Kim, you're not overworked. There's no labor board thing happening <laughs> no. here. Uh, just a warning to all you young judges out there, when there's lights in the building or stadium, know that you'll be working long hours. Georgia, thank you so much for your wonderful comments here on the live stream. Uh, I'm assuming they're directed at me and not my counterpart, Kim. Uh, Georgia. Tell us the truth. She said, thanks for commentating. This is so awesome to watch. Well, thanks for joining us, Georgia. Georgia, who do you like better, John or Kim? I'm laughing. Pete had a wonderful round the other night with this horse. It really gets up into the air, doesn't it? That's the idea. Show Jumping 101 by Kim Curtin. Ah, oh, too bad. Carmi Faye Reimer says, Kim, you're doing a fabulous job. Carmi. Carmi. Why, thank you. Carmi? Carmi Faye Reimer is saying you're doing a great job. 
sometimes it's hard to commentate with a counterpart that it really doesn't is. listen the way you would like her to. Oh, well, Pete should be happy with that. Four faults. Pete lives just south of town and uh, has a wonderful string of horses. I know the owner will be very happy. Prima show jumpers. Uh, good job tonight, Pete. And uh, we'll see you again in the future, I'm sure. And here's Katie Laurie. Notice the bit, John. Um, a lot of controversy over this bit in the hunter ring. Uh, for me, I don't like to see it, but it's not in the rules that you can't wear a blue bit. But I do believe it belongs in the jumper ring. Kim Bertie thinks you're better than I am. Thank you, Kim Bertie. She says, Kim, you are. But every time you say how well a horse is doing, a rail comes down. Why <laughs> does this happen to commentators? Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. It happens as a judge, too, coming home clean and then smack. <laughs> we all had a little internal uh, pick in the office uh, tonight, and this was my pick. Well, I think you have good taste. This is a very nifty horse. I don't want to jinx her, so I'm not saying anything. Well, two fences to go, Kim. Uh, Katie really wants to make it to the jump off. She's always rides hungry. Jump off in seventy five thousand. There you go. Oh well yeah, there the time. you know. That's our announcer, Dick. A ho hum clear round. While we wait for our last uh, person to go, uh, Hadassah asks us a question, says, what are the rules of the championships? Well, Hadassah, there's three phases in the, in the championships. The first phase is a table C, speed class. The winner of that competition ends up with a score of zero. Everybody else works backwards off the time of the winner to establish their score. Example, going into tonight, Vanessa Mannix had a score of zero, and Alicia, who ended up just being crowned our Canadian National Show Jumping Champion, had a score of 1.61. All that happens is in round two and round three, the first round score is added to the score on the first day, and that's how you crown a national champion. Vicky, M Vicky McVean just texted. Uh, just sent in a little note. Uh, that's a uh, Vicky. It's nice to hear from you. All the way, you're down in New Zealand. Am I correct? I know you were cheering for Katie. Yeah, McVean sounds Australian. I'm going to take a guess that McVean is sitting in Australia. But isn't Katie, Katie Laurie, isn't she Katie McVean? Wasn't she, isn't she Katie McVean before she got married? I'm not sure of that. Well, well as you can all tell, we don't have a lot of facts going on up here. We, we're winging it. Kim Berti says, "Well explained, John. You coming close to? Uh, you're coming a close second to Kim." <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Kim.
And so far we have seven clear. Uh, we're just waiting for Vanessa, who has a second horse. I hope you all stay tuned and watch the wonderful tribute to Hickstead, who we so sadly lost 10 years ago today. And here comes Vanessa to wrap up our first round. Brent Beliski says, okay, we're tuned in and cheering. That was close. John, you rode against her father, Jeff. That was Jeff McVean on first Z. That would be Katie McVean. Well, Vanessa's going to be hungry. You know, she uh, was leading here. She was going to win the Canadian champion with a cheap rail. She ended up with a... Uh, silver medal so she's going to want this money badly so i i predict this horse goes clear well there goes that plan she's riding so well though john vanessa's had a fantastic year she shouldn't be upset at all. I mean, I know it's a little deflating, uh, but uh, certainly the results she had this year at Spruce Meadows, at Thunderbird, and here all week other than tonight, uh, she's got nothing to hang her head about. And back to Brent Beliski. I believe I rode in Australia with Jeff McVean, but Brent, could you clear up? Australia or New Zealand for Jeff McVean? I thought Australia. A friend of mine just tuned in, said we've missed our calling. NBC Wild Wolf Sports would have loved you to. Yeah, I'm sure they would have. Well, now we're going to set for the jump off, and uh, I think we have a wonderful tribute to Hicks that coming up now, John? Or? Folks, we have a little ad for our, from our uh, wonderful sponsor, uh, Truman Homes. Uh, we have a, uh, another message again uh, to play from Equestrian Canada uh, who allowed all of this stuff to happen. And folks, we have a great tribute to a wonderful horse, Hickstead. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure you read it. And uh, we'll see you on the other side and uh, talk to you soon.
My friend, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full, I traveled each and every highway and more much more than this I did it my way regrets I've had a few but then again too few to mention I did what I had to do saw it through without exemption I planned each charted course each careful step along the byway and more much more than this I did it my way Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew When I bit off more than I could chew But through it all, when there was dark my fill my share of losing and now as tears subside I find it all so amusing to think I did all that and may I say not in a shy way I did it my way For what is a man What has he got If not himself Then he has not To say the things He truly feels And not the world When I was a young boy growing up in the Ottawa area, I just loved the idea of horses, and I'm dating myself now when I, I say I would get on the, uh, the the box seat of the milk wagon, and I, I thought I was driving the milk horse around the, the neighborhood. Of course, the, the milk horse knew the route, 
but the, the milkman would always let me drive and I just drove my parents crazy about horses and when I was 10 we moved out west and just to keep me quiet they said all right when we move west you can ride and that's how it all started. I think I feel very fortunate to have found my passion at such an early age, so I kind of had a direct goal that I've been working towards since I was eight years old. Show jumping itself, it is pretty easy to understand. You go clear, and the fastest one clearer wins. <laughs> A big mentor of mine is Eric Lamaze. I've been working with him for about 10 years. He really has guided my whole career and taught me basically everything I know about show jumping. I think at this point, I'm a veteran of the sport. I've competed at all the major competition around the world, including uh, two Olympics and many world championships and Pan American Games. A lot of people associate this equestrian sport with wealth, which obviously, uh, to purchase these animals you do, but there are a lot of people that have made it, like me, from, uh, from nothing, and, and that are successful today. Riders are hard workers. They work every bit as hard as any other sport. In our sport, you can win a major competition. Two months after that, nobody remembers. Uh, an Olympic gold medal uh, stays with you forever. Uh, last summer in the Pan American Games in Toronto, we had to qualify for the Olympic Games. And after the first round, things had not gone the way they should have. And uh, we just all looked at each other and the way we went. And in the second round, absence of errors, a very disciplined approach to it and we did the job and the rest of the teams fell apart and we won the, the, the team gold. But that was experience, synergy, camaraderie that allowed that to happen. That was a huge moment for sure. That was the first medal I ever won in a, in a championship and to do it in front of the home crowd was something that was really special and it was nice because that was our ticket into Rio. To ride for the team is completely different than, than riding in a big event Grand Prix. I, I love team competition. You're doing it for your country. It's very emotional, for sure. Uh, when you have the gold medal around your neck and, and uh, you know, the Canadian flag is going up, uh, there's, there's no other event that measures to that.
So we're about to get started with our jump off. We have seven clears. Here's our first of seven. Hope you folks enjoyed that uh, fantastic uh, tribute to uh, Hickstead. Uh, I know Kim, it uh, got me uh, tearing up for sure. I mean, uh, it was such an amazing, amazing horse. And uh, every time you think about what happened, it was uh, very sad. Well, I've been teared up since early this morning with Eric Lamaze's post. Uh, that was always a heavy blow to Eric. Ten years ago today still hits us all very hard. And here we go with our jump off. For sure. And Eric, our heart goes out to you. Uh, our thoughts go out to you on this uh, tragic day. Just got hung up there. You know, the course designer likes to do that. He puts, uh, you know, tricky jumps in it's the corner the by the end fault. gate. Course designer. Oh, speak of the devil, Look Kim. Look who's here. Look who joined us. Werner, why did you put that jump by the first, by the end gate? Because I like it. <laughs> yeah. Nice gallop coming home. And I think she's a time fault as well. And uh, that just indicates that she never really found her rhythm. But I think she'll be thrilled with that round. Werner, of uh, course, is Andrew, were you happy with the result tonight uh, with a class of 23 horses uh, to get uh, seven clears? Uh, were you happy? I'm more than happy. It was fantastic. They jumped quite well. I hope they come back. Uh, next year again and uh, coming back to your uh, question before uh, you asked me why I have I put it there because for me it's a question it's a sm very skinny oxer and this is for me a question uh, for rideability well you need a rideable horse indoors I mean the horses have to be rideable indoors for sure but Werner and I talk every night on the way home. We have to walk to work, but we are lucky enough to get a ride home. I gave you a ride to work I, I this get, morning. Well, we walk to work in the morning in the dark, but on our ride home, Werner always says, and we and I agree with him fully, you have to ride forward. As soon as you get riding backwards, you get stuck in the ground. Show jumping 101 again by Kim Curtin, and would you agree with that, uh, Werner? Absolutely, for me, is I call it always free forward movement. What it means, they have to go. They have to implement the natural movement of horses in in the riding and not going backwards and backwards. And ah, Katie's it's looking. awful to watch that. We used to call it in the old days picking. <laughs> Katie's and, uh, looking wonderful here. And Brent would say, shopping for a Yoo! distance. Shopping for a distance. That was a wonderful round. Katie doesn't pick. Katie Laurie doesn't, Katie doesn't pick. pick. Katie did what? There's no need to pull. Well, Katie's a real con uh, a competitor for sure. So uh, she was uh, she 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 was going all out. And uh, Brent's out there watching. He loved our tribute well, to Hickstead. Well, he loved and, the uh, tribute, and he also has sent in a text, fingers and toes crossed for LJ. Well, he's down in Palm Springs. I'm sure he's uh, tuned in. He's got it on the big big jumbotron in his uh, theater in the house down there. And Brent, looking forward to seeing you back in the derbies. Brent's had two hip replacements, and um, I miss watching him ride in the derby, so 
I'll look forward to that. He'll be here next year, and so yeah, will I'm you. Sure so he will. and so will you. Oh, jeez, I probably will. Oh, oh no, I'm going to get accused of jinxing again on live stream. As again, we'll just blame it on the course designer. Werner, I would love to know your secret about jump number one because jump number one always comes down with you as a course designer. Uh, the competition starts not at number five. Uh, it starts at number one. And this is, uh, they prepare their horses uh, in the warm-up. So uh, it's easy. It, and everybody said, ah, it must be friendly. It must be not friendly. It must be part of the course. That's part it. of the course. That's it. Yeah, Werner, you've had a lot of first jumps uh, in the last 10 days. and uh, But you know what? The course, uh, all the riders love your courses. And uh, you know what? You're coming back next year, too. Uh, well, LJ, Conceto's son and LJ, what a class act the two of them are. And uh, still going to get a nice ribbon and probably a good pay paycheck. Well, Laura Jane's a great competitor. It's not the jump off she wanted, but uh, it's always fun to have her. Uh, the Tidball family holds a special place in my heart, and uh, I'm always happy to have them. Well, and she can bake a cake. Did you know LJ bakes the most beautiful cakes? I didn't know that, but I'm going to well, ask her to bake see, me a cake. Yeah, well, she might not bake you a cake, but I've certainly experienced LJ's cakes. What kind of cake did she bake you? They're fancy cakes. Well, while we uh, finish talking about baked cakes, let's tune, tune our uh, thoughts here to Ashley Papalia from BC as well on this young horse. And uh, she's looking forward to a great ride here, I'm sure. Comments over there, Charlie. Ashley's looking really good here. She's going to be extremely happy, no matter how these last two fences end up. I'm afraid to say anything. Awesome. There you go. Oh, one time fault. Uh, that still puts her in the lead. I blame the course designer on that one again, too. Ah, oh, she looks extremely thrilled but with that But, Kim, horse. we had a comment here uh, from Kel uh, Vixio. Uh, I apologize. We had a wonderful comment, I said, uh, from Kel Vixio. I apologize if I pronounced the name wrong. But she says, what a fantastic job Rocky Mountain Show Jumping in Equestrian Canada has done for the past two weeks. I'm not sure you know what a special experience you've all created for these riders and fans, uh, your contribution is appreciated. Well, I would totally agree with her. Usually you just see special things happening for the high-end riders and jumpers. And John, you've made an experience that a lot of these riders will never forget from a meter on up. Well, we've talked about this in the past, and Werner says uh, it's the next generation. Werner, what do you think? I think in the same way. When uh, just to uh, add something, you said, uh, I have to come back. More important that the riders have to come back next year and more in mind. They have to realize what you offer them, what, what they have a chance to grow up. This is, for me, fantastic what happened here in uh, Rocky Mountain and in, in uh, uh, Royal West. Absolutely fantastic. So it's not, it's not up to me. It's up to them. Oh, I know all the riders will want you back, especially if you take away the first fence. <laughs> anyway, Kennedy, 
Kennedy's uh, Kennedy's having a you know a couple of rails. That's fine. But no, you know but what? it's a first experience for Kennedy. Probably she's never done the Canadian show no, jumping exactly. championships. No, exactly. Wonderful representation. Well, who wouldn't come back? The smaller divisions, three saddles. We've had girths, bridles, and that horse running loose for 20 minutes tonight. It's going to need a new bridle. That was something, wasn't it? It was something, Kim, and it was amazing. But you know what? What pressure for her to go into this jump off, okay? The the adrenaline must be there. She knows she's already been crowned Canada's national show jumping champion. Gives her entries into any five-star Grand Prix in the country. No questions asked. And she's Canada's national champion for 2021. You're absolutely right, John. I know. I know it wasn't what you were talking about, <laughs> but <laughs> Jesus. Well, a winner's a winner. You know, she called a week before the show and said she was coming out, and I said, "No problem, we'll take you." What a fantastic rider she oh, is! Oh boy! Look at that forward gallop. You can only nip if you're going forward. Look at that. There's your new there. That's why she's a champion. 45, 43, 45, 46. What a ride. And she caught Katie Laurie. Kim's asking if it's a mare. I don't know what the horse is, but it was good. No, we don't come to the live stream with a lot of facts, but uh, maybe next year we'll be better. The reason we're good at the live stream, Kim, is because we don't, we don't know take anything. It, and we don't take <laughs> it seriously. Now, here was my pick this for the win. This is going to be here lightning fast. Here was my fast. pick for the win. Now, folks, uh, and Katie's this horse not is Canadian. Nifty. And he doesn't spend a lot of time in the air. A little trip there. That's that okay. She's still faster. She's not going to want to take home second. Look at this. Like at Werner's starting to even get excited about this round. She is flying. Oh, here we go, guys. We got to stand up for this. Yeah. Look at oh, this, yeah. folks. Uh, yeah. oh. oh, folks. 42 48, folks. She had it by three seconds, oh, but yeah. took the last rail down. Three seconds doesn't matter. That last jump. Just so you know, Brent texted us and said uh, that last horse is a mare. Brent, I think you should join us up here on the uh, live stream stage. He can next ride the year. hunter. He can ride the hunter he can derbies. Ride the derby and still make it in time to help us with live stream. Oh, listen, you talk to Werner for a little bit. You talk to Werner for a bit. I have to go do presentations. Here, I'll give the mic to Werner. You guys talk about it. Thank you for watching this beautiful competition and I go to bed as well and I go home to Germany tomorrow. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the weekend. See you next year. Bye. And how we're going to miss you, Werner. And I think we've had such a great week. Peter Holmes, an outstanding course designer and assistant to you all week. And Dick, wonderful announcer, Jerry Koo. Ah, everybody was. And let's not forget our. We, we, we have to stay together to make it better and better every year. So I'm really happy to see you next year again. Well, I can't wait to see you, Werner. And 
Before we sign off, let's do a cheers to John Anderson, who went against everything to make this happen. Absolutely. He is doing a great job, and he's always stepping behind. And I mention very often, for me as a course designer, it's easy to work with him because he always said, do what you want, yeah. what you think. And this is for me important. Yeah. And thank you, EC, for not only supporting John, but flying out to the Wild West to support him. Have a great evening, everybody, and congratulations to Alicia Cadman Lewis. Great job. Thank you. Enjoy the evening. Bye. Getting a workout.